before you take on someone else's frequency. Check in with yourself to see whether or not this belongs to you or whether it is an opportunity for you an opportunity for setting a boundary You are not victims of anyone else's energetic attacks. You either are in alignment with what it is that they are, or you willingly take it on. That is a choice that you make. It is a choice that you can make consciously, deliberately, and with a desire to serve. First, you must serve yourself. You must honor yourself. You are not anyone's keeper. You are acting still as separate beings for now. And while you are acting as separate beings, you must allow yourselves to have that experience. It is noble to want to help others. I am helping you now. But I am doing so with my free will. It is my desire and it brings me joy. Taking on another's frequency is not always beneficial to them nor to you. But if you do decide to take it on, then do so with the understanding that the two of you will be in service to each other. And if you decide that what someone else is flowing does not interest you in the moment to engage with, then allow yourselves that freedom. Allow yourselves to be the ones who decide. Believing in yourself as the savior for someone else will only create more beings to save. But knowing yourself as 
a co-creator with others, who chooses freely to serve when you see fit. That is engaging with your world and in your world as a sovereign being. So many of you are light workers, are givers, are teachers and guides who are listening to me. You have no obligation to take on more. than you can handle. And you owe it to yourselves to do that which brings you joy in the moment so that you can live as the example to others of joyous free will. I engage with you because of the joy that I feel, not because I think you need me and I would never take on anything for you because I love watching you grow and shift and evolve. It delights me. I am Ophelia. I am Fairy.